Hi. Today I am going to take the session Designing Trusted Operating System. Before going to the details, what is security raffle? Security refers to providing a protection system to computer system results such as CPU, memory, disk, software program, and most importantly, data or information stored in the computer system. Okay. It involves guarding of the user data and program against interference by external individuals. For example, unauthorized person. Following are the methods used for the protection of security of OS. First one, authentication. Second one, until password. Third one, for transfer. Fourth one, system test and fifth one, computer security classification. Okay, let us start with authentication. It refers to identifying each user of the system and associating the executing program with those users. Authentication ensures that the user who is running the program is authentic. OS identifies authenticate user using three ways. First one, username or password. Second one, user card or key. Third one, user attribute. That is finger of finger, eye retina pattern or signature. What is username or password? Means user need to enter a registered username and password with operating system to log in into the system. User card of key user needs to punch card in card slot or enter key generated by key generator in option provided by OS to login in the system. Third one is user attribute that is fingerprint or eye retina pattern or signature. In this user needs to ask his or her attribute via designated input device used to buy operating system to log into the system. And next is the one-time password. One-time password provides additional security along with the normal authentication. In this, a unique password is required every time user tries to log into the system. Once a one-time password is used, it cannot be used again. As you all know, the online banking transaction, if I need to transfer uh, an amount to your friend or any person, and that is, if you, an OTP is sent to the registered mobile, it will be a four digit or six digit number. Once you enter this OTP to the system, it will be able to complete the transaction. In operating system, it is a server side validation process. Now, one time password implemented in this following way. First one, random numbers. Random numbers, thus users are provided cards having numbers printed along the corresponding alphabet. System asks for numbers corresponding to few alphabets randomly chosen. And in secret key, users are provided a hardware device which can create a secret ID, secret ID masked by user ID, which is to be generated every time prior to login. And normally it is provided by admin regulatory user, which is limited to one or two users. And the third one is network password. Mm, network password. For example, some commercial applications send one-time password to user on registered mobile or email which is required to enter prior to login. Next, come to the program thread. Operating systems, process, and kernel do the designated tasks as inspected. If a user program may be focused to do malicious tasks, then it is not a fit. Program One of the common examples of program threat is a program installed in a computer which can store and send user credentials via network to 
some hackers. This are the list of some of well known programs. First one Trojan Four, second one Trap Blue, third one Logic Blue, and fourth one Virus. Trojan Four such programs trap users' login credentials and store them to send to malicious users who can later on log into computer and can access system records. And trap door is a program which is designed to work as required having security holding its core and perform illegal action without knowledge of user. Then it is called to have a trap door. That is the method of reaching a program. And the third one is logic rule. It is a situation when a program which behaves only when certain conditions met, otherwise it works as a genuine program. This logic mode is harder to detect. And the fourth one is the virus. Virus, uh, in the case of virus, it requires other programs to run. But the main implies can replicate downsides on computer system and they are highly dangerous and can modify your DNS users file and crash system. It generally is more code embedded in a program. As you can access the program, the virus starts getting embedded in other files of program and makes it unusable for users. Let's come to the system type. System type refers to misuse of system service and network connection to put user in trouble. It creates an environment that always results in user files as misuse. And some of the well-known system types are worm, or scanning, and linear services. The worm is also an another piece of malware like virus. It's a process by which it can chop down a system performance by using system resource to extreme level. An example for worm is internet worm. Actually, what's the working is and worm such is its existence lets it replicate itself on the new machine. Worm process generates its multiple copies where each copy uses system resources prevents all other processes to get required results. Worm processes can even shut down an entire network. Next is port scanning. The mechanism or means by which a hacker can detect system vulnerability to make an attack on the system. It's an automated attempt to connect to wide range of ports using one or one or a range of IP address. And the last is denial of service attack. Denial of service attack occurs when the receiver is not ready available to receive the data. So attack normally prevents users to make legitimate use of the system. For example, a user may not be able to use internet if DOS attacks browser content settings. Attack content settings. Next is the computer security classification. There are four security classifications in computer system that is A, B, C, and D. And the first one is type A. Type A is the highest level. It's a formal design specification and verification technique. Grants a high degree of assurance of proper security. And the type B is so it's mandatory production system for it has all the properties of class C2 system and it attaches a sensitive label to each object. It's of three types, B1, B2, and B3. B1 maintains the security label of each object in the system and B2 extends the sensitive label to each system record, such as storage object support, power channel, and origin of events. B3 allows creating a store user group for access control 
ध्यान रखें तो रिवर करते हैं गिवन नेम ओके टाइप के प्रोविज प्रोटेक्शन एंड यूजर अकाउंटेबिलिटी यूजिंग ऑडिट कैपेबिलिटी दिस टाइप के टाइप के यूज ऑफ टू टाइप्स द सी1 एंड सी2 द सी2 वी ऑलरेडी मेंशन इन टाइप बी दैट इज uh have a uh, type we have all the properties of this class c2 system and c1 incorporate control so that user can protect their private information and keep other users from accidentally reading or deleting data c2 have an individual level access control to the capabilities of the c1 level system and the last one is the time d the lowest level is the minimum protection And MS DOS Windows 3.1 fall in this type of category. Let's talk about the operating system security. And if you have any doubt, please send it to the Windows Classroom or WhatsApp. Okay, thank you.